Welcome to this Tether Electric presentation. In this short video, we will be showing you how vendors of Tether Isaac knockoffs are misleading you with their marketing and falsely claiming their filters are better than the original Tether Isaac filters. The Tether filter was the first of its kind in the world and was first offered in early 2000 by Tether Electric, an engineering-based company. Tether filters were co-developed by Tether Electric CEO Dave Tether and Professor Martin Graham. Dave has over 40 years of experience in electricity and electronics. Martin Graham is a professor emeritus of the University of California, Berkeley's Electrical Engineering and Computer Sciences Department and holds over 40 United States patents. Stether and Graham engineered stetherizer filters to reduce dirty electricity in the range of 4 kHz to 100 kHz. In the late 2000, other companies came out with stetherizer knockoffs. These companies are marketing-based, not engineering-based, and we find uh, documented uh, evidence of electrical or electronics experience in their companies or their employers. These knockoff vendors claim their filters are more effective than the stetherizer filters at reducing dirty electricity. Let's take a look at one such claim. This knockoff vendors claims that their filter is 5% to 20% more effective at reducing dirty electricity than the stetherizer filter. They claim their filters are most effective at attenuating electrical noise between 10 kHz and 500 MHz. These claims are completely false, and we will demonstrate that now. To test this filter, we are using a signal generator to output a 20 MHz signal to a standard power strip. We are measuring the generated signal with a fluke 199 scope meter. And you can see here that the fluke meter confirms we have a 20 MHz signal. So now we will plug in a knockoff filter. The signal is still there. It has been reduced in magnitude slightly, but the filter has not attenuated the signal that is claimed. We can clearly see that the knockoff is not even effective at 20 MHz. So it is impossible for it to be effective all the way out to 500 MHz. Another point we would like to touch upon is the issue of safety. Any electronic devices consumers you should be independently tested for safety. In the United States, under Rice Laboratories, UL is an independent research organization tasked with ensuring commercially available products are safe for public use. The Canadian Standard Association, CSA, performs the same function in Canada. This expect from UL's online certification directory explains how to verify if a product is UL approved. It states only those products bearing the UL's mark should be considered to be listed and covered under UL's follow-up service. Always look for the mark on the product. Stetherizer products are UL and CSA approved and have been rigorously tested and found safe for customer use. At this time, we are not aware of any knockoff filters on the market which are UL approved and carry the UL service mark. The knockoff shown here does not carry the UL or CSA service mark. Therefore, it is not a UL approved product and has been tested for customer safety. Marketing and safety issues aside, knockoff vendors also fell short when it comes to provide measurable results. Stether Electric offers the Stetherizer Microsuch Meter as a simple and inexpensive tool that let you know that the riser filters are working. The microswitch meter was developed and patented by Professor Graham. It measures the dirty electricity present on the building's electrical wiring and provides instant feedback in the form of a signal number to let you know your stetherizer filters are reducing dirty electricity. Knockoff vendors, on the other hand, do not and cannot offer such a meter to measuring the filters' results. In fact, if they did offer the meters in here, it would be a clear violation of Stetherizer patent rights. One final issue we would like to address is independent research. Here is a knockoff vendor's web page, highlighting some research studies that they say proves the effectiveness of their filters. They neglect to mention that none of this research was performed using their filters. In fact, nearly every study listed here uses Stetherizer filters or the Stetherizer microsearch meter. We know of no research at this time that investigates the effectiveness of any knockoff filters on the market. Alright, we've presented a fair amount of information now about the filters and the knockoffs that exist. So let's do a quick recap. Stetherizer filters have been designed by knowledgeable, experienced engineers. Knockoff vendors take advantage of people's lack of knowledge about dirty electricity. 
to simply make money from the hard work of others. Stether filters are baked by acknowledgeable technical support and customer service team that can answer nearly any question you may have about dirty electricity. Knockoff vendors possess little technical knowledge and likely cannot answer complex questions regarding dirty electricity. Stetherizer filters are UL and CSA approved, safe for customer use in the United States and Canada. Knockoff filters are not UL or CSA approved. Stether Electric offers a patent, easy to use micro switch meter to measure in the results provided by Stetherizer filters. Knockoff vendors do not and cannot offer any such meter. And finally, Stetherizer filters have been proven effective at reducing dirty electricity by numerous independent studies, while no independent research has ever been performed of knockoff filters. Thank you for watching and we hope you have enjoyed this Stetherelectric presentation.